Uh, we're back to exploring mid-journey. This time I'm going to show you the image prompt tag. It's a smaller tag. Most people don't seem to know that it exists, but it does. And you can use it when you use a text prompt and an image prompt. Let us for example use this one. I right click on it, copy image link. Photographer is my text prompt and then I paste the URL. By default, in version 5 of Midjourney, the image weight is set to 1. So if I add minus minus IW1 here to the same prompt, so photographer in the URL, and I press enter, it's going to vanish because it's the default anyway. Let me go to 0.5, so lower than the default. I use the same prompt yet again, 1.5. And the max value is 2. So let us use that as well. We'll check the official documentation. And here you can read more about it. As I've said, it's a smaller prompt. It just defines the importance of the image versus the text prompt. So it's a relative parameter. And if you make it higher than 1, higher than the default, the image will get a higher importance for the image generation. And you can see that here in the example, the image prompt is on the left and below one, it has a totally different background and style. And if you look at 1.5 and higher, it strongly resembles the, the image. So the style and the color selection. We can observe that here with our photographer. If we go lower, so 0.5, for example, we don't even have a man anymore. Let's check, he was one. At least it's all a man in every photo. But here, there's a girl in number one. Composition is different, style is different. And here's 1.5. We're getting closer to the original and here's two. Composition is very close. The position of the photographer is close. He has a hat, he has a beard. The color selection is very similar. We have a shirt in each and a backpack. Let me show you a different example. We'll use this one, a May model. I copied the image link and now I want to contrast two different styles. So I use my text prompt man smiling and I make it a Pixar rendered animation style. And now I paste the URL. And the URL was a realistic photo, so no rendering animation comic style, but a realistic original. Now I use the image weight. Let me use 2 and 0.5. And if we compare this now, you can see the lower I go with the image weight, the more the text prompt is used to generate the image. So here is the default set to 1. Here is the image weight of 2. So we're getting much closer towards the photo, the realistic style. And here's 0.5. And here we have a much more rendered animation style. The default could be seen as kind of like a hybrid between the two. I'm going to link to the documentation so that you can find it yourself. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.